Hi class, it's me, Mrs. Medina. So this video is going to be an OG video. So today we're going to learn a new sound. Well, kind of. Once we get into it, you'll see why I'm saying kind of. But it's definitely a new digraph. So who remembers what a digraph is? Hmm. I know some of you have an idea and some of you know and i'll give you a clue when we see a digraph like ch -ch -ch, right like um a chocolate bar c h do you see c h that's a digraph and when we have the digraph we draw this little symbol underneath and what does that symbol mean it means that we have two letters together that make one sound. It also means that they're best friends. So they like to hold hands and be together when they walk in the park, okay? So remember, two letters, one sound. That is a digraph. So today we're going to learn a new digraph. So let's begin. Here's our new digraph. Boom, 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 boom. What do you see? What letters do you see? W-H. Now, what sound does W-H make? Well, together they make the sound w w Does my face match what you're saying? Yeah, we learned that last time. The letter W as we can see here, oops. W makes the same sound. And so does WH. Very good. So WH, this diagram, says w. So now, let's start thinking of things that begin with w. Have some here, and the first one that always comes to my mind is a w w whale. Whale, isn't that a cute whale? Whale, very good. The next thing that always comes to mind when I hear the w w sound, and remember, look at my mouth, look at the way it's positioned w w a wheel. You see this bicycle wheel? Wheel. 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 Good job. Now, can you think of something that starts with the w w sound? How about this? This is something that sometimes I use. They use it a lot during recess. A whistle. Whistle. W -w whistle. Whistle. Good job. And let me show you one last picture that I have. A wheelchair. 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 Good job, boys and girls. So, right now I'm going to show you how to write it two ways. So the first way that I'm going to show you how to write WH is on my make-believe house paper. Okay? So, whenever we learn how to write something, we always use house paper and we use a green crayon. I'm going to use a green marker so that you can see. So, with our new digraph, we're going to write lowercase w. And remember, lowercase w is only in the living room. It does not go in the attic. It does not go in the basement. It's afraid. Please don't put them in there. However, H, even lowercase h, it begins in the attic. We bring it all the way down to the living room floor. And then we go around and back onto the living room floor. Don't put it in the basement. It gets scared. Okay? WH, 
let's do it again. W. H. There you go. And what sound does that make? Woof, woof. Like wheel, whale, whistle. Good job. So now I'm going to show you how to write it in sand. So to write it in sand, I don't have real sand, but I'm going to use something that you probably have in your house. You won't see my face anymore. Oh, I guess you have to. I have sugar. So, my sugar is very colorful sugar. And I am... Oh, one second. You can use regular sugar or you can use flour might help if you have sand that will help okay but take a plate it can be a regular plate a paper plate any kind of plate and you're gonna put some sugar on it and you can start writing so here's my plate of sugar or sprinkles you can use sprinkles W H says woof, woof, woof. W H says woof, woof. Now, if you don't have sprinkles, that's okay. Why don't you write it here? W H says woof. W H says woof. Excellent job. So that's it for now. I hope you learned and understand WH better. Until next time, bye.